in in San Bernardino? Well, I just wanted to um, uh, say as far as uh, I define proof as something uh, I give an argument, and if you can't refute it logically and scientifically, then you have to accept that. Is that okay or no? No. Why? Because just because you can present something that can't be disproven doesn't mean it's true. You've actually got it asked backwards. In, in order for something to be believable, in order for a claim to be, if, in order for it to be justifiable to believe in a claim, there has to be evidence that, to support it. Yeah, uh, it, without evidence, it, it's entirely possible. Logic. It's entirely possible to make to form a, a an internally consistent logical argument without it being true. Right. All you got to do is feed false assumptions into it. Right. False yeah. premises. Everyone from Italy is green, and Fred is from Italy, therefore Fred is green. There's nothing wrong with my logic. What's wrong is that, in fact, everybody from Italy is not green. It's a factual problem. Oh, well, okay. If it's consi consistent with reason and science, that's what I'm saying. Did you hear? I said that. I said if it's consistent with logic and science, you can't refute it scientifically or logically, then you have to accept, accept it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, okay? Have to is pretty strong, but um, well, let me just throw I'm, it out. Willing, I'm willing to move forward you know, tentatively okay. on that basis. Matt? The, the, way, okay, okay, okay. No, the way logical arguments work is that you present your premises and draw a conclusion from them. And if the argument is in valid okay. structure, is a valid structure, then the conclusion must be sound if the premises are sound. Now, we can okay. question premises all day long. Is that, is that all? I mean, because if, if you're saying, okay, I'm going to present something, and as long as you can't disprove it, you have to admit that it must be no, true. No, 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 no. Nonsense. Oh, no, I never said that. I, I'm sorry that you, if you thought that. Okay, uh, go ahead. Move on. Can I move on? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You get what you call a singularity that comes to a boundary to space and time itself. So what we have is really five options here we can conclude. We can cl conclude that there was a natural cause, which we only have three options that are known. The multiverse, the big bounce, and the quantum uh, fluctuation, the, the vacuum. But these options have been discarded by non-theistic scientists for a variety of reasons. They contradict science and it's just simple logic. They are not all rejected by a scientific uh, consensus among the scientists and in the scientific community. That's not true. They're certainly not rejected in your oversimplification that they defy simple logic. And by the okay, way, okay. In, by the way, even if there were no explanations, even if all of these had been disregarded, so what? Getting rid of possible answers does not make some other answer true. You cannot go through and say, this didn't work, this didn't work, this didn't work, this didn't work, and in any way ever, for the rest of time, if you did this, get to, therefore, this must be true, until you have identified that you have actually enumerated all possibilities. I know that. You're getting ahead of me. I, I'm so far ahead of you. I heard this shit last week when you called. So, wait a minute. I'm you have just conceded, Ken that only most of these things that you listed have been rejected by scientists. I'm not even sure that's true, but suppose it is. Which I'm ones there, haven't? Yeah. Because as, soon, as long as there are still some in play, the argument you're trying to make still won't work. I'm saying that as far as... Because they're inconsistent with science and reason, guys. Uh, if they, they, they were inconsistent with science and reason, don't you think the, the, there would be a consensus among scientists that they needed to be rejected? It's not a democracy. It doesn't matter whether or not they... Uh, <laughs> so you are saying... Uh, can I, at this point, I'm sorry, I, don't, I, 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 I know there's a danger here of getting into an argument from authority, but could you please tell me your credentials as a scientific cosmologist? Why well, don't Because you're asking us to take your word over the consensus uh, of actual working scientists. No. Do you want me to get into the, the, the irrationality of these options? Well, if I you are saying that we're supposed to agree with you instead of with the no, vast majority of working scientists. No, I never said that. Actually, I'll disagree. 
I'd rather hear you tell me why <laughs> these are irrational because I, I don't think the call, for a second <laughs> you understand these at all or that you can demonstrate why they're irrational. I don't care what your credentials are. If you're right, you're right. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. I'll get into that after I forever, go Oh, you'll get into that when you call back next week. You don't get to dictate when you're going to get to something. You called in last week with this first cause crap, and you call in this week with another version of the same thing. Put your thoughts together. Don't begin with statements that say, I'm going to talk about something, and as long as you can't refute it, it's therefore true. And don't make broad-based generalizations saying, here are some possible, possible explanations for the universe. But they vi they're irrational, and they violate simple reason, and the scientists have rejected them. Uh, it's nonsense. And he agreed that it was not. That he had, yeah. you know, admitted when challenged that that was, in fact, not true. His argument doesn't start you know, even out of the gate. It's he wanted us to accept that, that assumption, which he himself knew was not true. Which is why right. I tried to head you off at the pass in the first place when you said that when you get back, essentially, to the event horizon, and I interjected, you're done, that's because you're done. Everything else is speculation. Well, is the, is the, is the multiverse hypothesis accurate? Hell, I don't know. I, I don't even know if I understand it enough to say whether or not it's possible or probable. It doesn't matter. When there's sufficient evidence to justify an explanation, then that will be the explanation that is justified. And until then, none of them are. And, and no matter right. how many of them you... And, you and you're absolutely at, right. Even if it had been the case that all of the uh, hypotheses uh, concerning the origins of the universe that have ever been conceived of by scientists have been subsequently rejected by scientists, even if that were the case, which is what he was trying to say, even though he, when challenged, admitted he knew that that was not true, even if it were the case, that would not mean God did it. Yeah. And Can't. by the way, we don't come on the show, uh, but atheism has no tie to this particular argument at all, um, and we don't come on here to posit a particular explanation for the origins of the universe or anything else. Um, okay, you know, it's, it's kind of like saying um, that 2 plus 2 e doesn't equal 8 or 15 or 17 or 19. You can go through all the, and, and try to tell me all the things that 2 plus 2 does, does not equal to, but until you identify what it does equal and why, you haven't done a thing. Telling me, telling, you know, uh, 2 plus 2 does not equal 8 or 13, therefore it must equal 57. Aha, because those are the only answers I can think of. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I'm happy that people who can think of more answers are working on the problem.